So in the time frame that we have, if we start higher up on your ribs, mm -hmm. you're only gonna get down to here. The only thing I really care about is the location and the size, and then like the color scheme, as well as the realism of the head. What she's asking for is legitimately like a 30 hour tattoo. I wanted it to kind of go like here, and the head go down the body to about here, and then the tail go like that. I'm screwed. Throughout history, the tribal tattoo has been very important. They were used to identify the enemy in war, as symbols of marriage, and to establish a status within the tribe. You'll be creating a tattoo that incorporates your own personal style, as well as traditional tribal elements. Tribal tattoos have a lot of sharp edges and curves to them, and a lot of solid black. I'm stoked, it's something that I do a lot of. I see you got some reference here. Yeah. If you like that skull, I could probably do something where Maybe the tribal wraps towards the back, right. like a cocoon around something like you're looking in. Yeah, I wanted to like basically do the whole hairline uh, so we could go as far down as here. And we are limited to five hours, so, you know, the whole head might be rough. But I mean, that depends on the design. Maybe I can come up with something. My client wants a whole head tattoo. He's really not willing to do half of it, uh, nor do I really want to do half of it because it would be nearly impossible to match it or draw into it again. I chose something that is difficult, but I chose it because I wanted to do something big that you know I could show off with. Here we go. Just let me know how you're feeling. Anything, you just keep me in the know. I think Billy's over ambitious. I think he bit off a little more than he could chew. He's gonna regret that shit, man, definitely. I mean, it's a race, but <clears throat> we're moving along steadily, so it should be all right. The way I approach tattoos, you know, I really obsess over it and analyze it and try to come up with, like, just the best possible solution, both for the client and for myself. So we see. Awesome. That's the reason I'm in the top here. Two more hours to go, guys. Heads are difficult to tattoo. The pain is pretty bad. You're getting a lot of sheer force, you know, just, just repeatedly banging on your skull. She got stars. Mm. There's a lot of nerves, and it's very painful to try to squeeze a whole head tattoo and rush something like that. I, I just don't think it's a smart idea. Give me, uh, give me like two more minutes, and we'll let you take a break. Cool. Is that cool? You sure? Yeah. All right. I just want to kill the spot so I don't have to go back into it. I definitely have to rush a little bit, but the one thing I want to do is I want to prove people wrong. I want to be able to finish. My client's in a lot of pain. He started like losing his eyesight a little bit from you know all the rattling. <coughs> do I'm gonna get somebody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you get EMT? At this point, his body's cutting out. Hey. hey. I knew going into this that I took a piece that was huge. I was pretty confident I could finish it. I'm not finished. I need like another 20 minutes. I'm ruining this guy's life. I'm feeling very disappointed right now. He's gonna have to walk around with an unfinished tattoo. I'm a little worried going into the elimination, not being able to finish may be a deciding factor. Welcome guys to another elimination round. For this week's elimination tattoo, we asked you to create a tribal tattoo that incorporates your own personal style. And Billy? What's going on, guys? So you chose the head tattoo? Yeah, I chose the head. That was bold. For the design, placement, layout, I think I did a really good job. I didn't quite finish it. We are here issuing you guys challenges based on time. I and mean, we need to see finished tattoos. Bad choice. There was a ton of outlining. Um, a lot of time was spent with the stencil and drawing, getting it perfectly symmetric on his head. I don't like the fact that you left the guy with scattered shade marks. That dude's got to cruise around like that. You're kicking yourself out of the pack if you don't finish your challenge. must prove that you understand legibility by tattooing watercolor tattoos. Awesome. 
Watercolor tattoos are by far the least legible tattoo style I can think of. It can't work together. These tattoos mimic watercolor brush strokes to create vibrant images. And although these tattoos play fast and loose with both color and shape, it's still crucial that you make sure your tattoo is legible. Watercolor tattoos can be a muddy mess. Colors could run into each other and it's gonna be hard to tell what it is. I want you guys to realize that two more of you are gonna get eliminated before this thing even gets going. Once we get to the top five on each team, it's really gonna turn up. To stay in the competition, make it the best tattoo you can make today. All right, so look, tell me tell me what, what you're thinking right, right now. All right, so shoulder can... down, you know, just uh, some sunflowers. I was also thinking about getting uh, maybe a skull candy, you know? Like a, a sugar skull? Sugar like... skull, yeah. Just but made out of flowers, wildflowers. The more stuff I add, the less you'll be able to get done. You'll have an unfinished tattoo. Yeah, I, I need my, my tattoo finished, though. But you can't get a finished tattoo if we add too much. All right, That's what I'm just saying, at. all right, forget about the skull candy. Just uh, some sunflowers. But I want the, the sunflowers to be, like, different colors. One yellow, one purple, one, you know, mix it up. With the time we got. How many sunflowers do you think we could get on there? Right now, I'm thinking two. No, nah, no, nah, definitely not. <laughs> My canvas is stepping up to be unrealistic. You could fit another sunflower in there, man. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I can do three, four flowers in six hours without leaving one of these undone. Relax. It's hard to relax when you stab me with a needle. This butthead finally takes some of my advice. Now we got a design that both of us can agree on. Look, now my canvas is jumping, he's pulling away. I don't know whether to call this guy a pain in the ass or a dick, so I think I'm gonna call him both. It'll get easier as we go, man. What, my arm's gonna get numb? <laughs> Is that why? Three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Check it out in the mirror. Nice. I like what I see. Servan had a hard time. I don't think he understands what a watercolor tattoo is. It's kind of a mess. Team Nunez, today you had to show legibility by creating a watercolor tattoo that's readable from across the room. Team Peck, you will serve as the jury of peers. Servan. Obviously, very legible, two sunflowers, but it looks like a new school tattoo with some melty edges, then pulling off any watercolor effects. You stayed really rigid within your color palette, so you don't have any intermingling of color. Had you softened up those edges and not been so rigid, that would really put you back into the watercolor category that'll be undeniable. And this is a day where the one thing that you want to hit out of the park is that watercolor feel. There's no better test of composition than tattooing a color realistic battle. What the A color realistic battle? There's no way you can do all that in six hours. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be a freaking show. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one combat scenes or ships at war, your battle scene must have clear composition so it's easy to tell what's happening. What is it exactly that you were looking to get again? Warrior princess fighting dark warrior. But we need to add an element that he's getting the kicked out of him. Right. I want to look on her face. That's just badass. She's standing over him. She's got her sword sort of resting on him. Gowns can't look perfect. I want blood. I want holes. We thought we had the best canvas. She said one thing in the lineup, and now she's telling us a million different things that she wants. We're working with six hours. This is easily a 25-hour tattoo. Yeah. There are just elements that I'm not willing to compromise on. If she's not willing to work with us, then this whole thing's going to turn into a show. I thought you said you wanted to soften up the top. Um, it's pretty soft as it is. I want the top to look a little more even with the bottom. The only battle in this situation is our canvas battling with us. I'm just not seeing your background, and I'm, I'm not picturing it on the tattoo, and I'm worried that it's going to not look good. Yeah, but as artists, we like to give you something that we see as well as a collaboration together. But Aww. it's my tattoo, so give me, give me a minute. OK. Now I'm in freaking panic mode. He's going. We're trying to give her a best tattoo, and she's second guessing everything we're doing. This is crazy. Welcome back. 
So I want you to do what you want to do with the dress. Okay. And um, I'm not gonna do the background. Okay. I feel like a lot of this comes down to this girl not being able to sit for a six hour tattoo. Jess, do you want me to get in or you go? I just, I think you tattoo a little more gently. No if worries. You're good. Yeah, that's fine. This girl's insane. Absolutely. Today, you had to create battle scenes with clear composition, pins and needles. Was there a conflict when you got going with this canvas? Oh my she God. didn't want to trust us on any aspect. Aside from it not looking like a battle scene, and aside from the problems with the canvas and blah, 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 you drew those hands. Those hands are jacked. And you put that on somebody. I would have quit too. You win your client over in the beginning by impressing them with a beautiful drawing. Your art speaks louder than anything. Artwork, first and foremost. That's how you get the title. You must all tattoo the same subject, a Japanese snake. Damn it. Snakes are one of the most symbolic creatures in traditional Japanese tattooing. Traditional Japanese is really hard because it has a whole lot of rules in it. And if you don't know them, you can't follow them. And the one guy who's going to judge you is Taki, and he's going to nail the out of you. Japanese tattoos are infamous for incorporating many different elements to create a dynamic image. In order for the elements to work together, they must be in perfect proportion. There is one more obstacle you must face today. All of the canvases want their tattoos on their ribs. Of course they do. Ribs? You've got to be kidding me. The ribs is one of the most painful areas with snakes. It's going to be hard to make those long, sweeping lines. I want to start like under my boob and end like here. I would recommend being that you've never had like a really big session to do a tattoo probably about this big. My only concern is I want something sexy. I want the shape to be in harmony with my body. My canvas is only sat through little tiny bangers on real easy places. She will not sit through a big Japanese tattoo. It is not gonna happen. Do you know what you got yourself into? The ribs are tough. He definitely threw you at me because he thought that you would tap out. But you know, you don't want to have something that has to do with my body. I have worked way too hard throughout this whole competition to go home because of this stubborn canvas. What if the head is biting my boob? If I don't get my canvas on board with me, I am screwed. This is going to be the flow piece. Not this, right? I don't Challenge. want it too confusing. My canvas is being so difficult. You gotta trust me. I'm just confused of how this snake is turning. Leave it up to me. I do not need this right now. It's not natural. It's weird. You're still not trusting me. It's awesome to watch Scott squirm. Just leave it. Let me do this. The idea that he gets a taste of what he's been able to dish out, how can it not bring a smile to your face? You have to listen to me. I'm at the top in this competition. There's a reason for it. You have to trust me. I know, but what this. you like is not what I like. No, but I know what you like. And if you don't let me do that, then you're going to be upset and you have a bad tattoo, and you're only going to be beating yourself in the ass for restricting me and twisting my arm and making it do it your way, you know? Sure. It's going to be a beautiful tattoo. I love it. My only concern is, you know, obviously, just sitting through it. If you get dizzy, or if you're feeling like cold sweats, or you're feeling nauseous or something like that, then we'll, then we'll pump the brakes a little bit. I am really worried that my canvas is going to tap out. But you know, if I'm in pain, I'll take a break. You don't want to take a break, because when you come back, it'll hurt 10 times more. I'm going to take one break, a couple of breaks. You don't want to take a couple of breaks. Once you break once or twice, you're tapping out. I'm stressing the f out right now. You got your job to do, and I got my job to do. Now it's just up to me to execute that, and it's up to you to sit through it. Two more hours. Two more hours. Definitely gonna need a cigarette. <laughs> no. Until you take a break, it slows down, and you come back, and you can't take the pain then, trust me. My canvas is having a really hard time, and she's making it vocal. I need your confidence high, you know what I mean? We do it. <laughs> I'm doing whatever it takes to make sure that I put a good tattoo in front of those judges today. I just don't want to let you go, and then I got to drag you back in here by your hair. Don't think I want for 100 grand. If I have to physically hold my canvas down to make sure she doesn't leave, I'm going to do just that. Can't move in the middle of line sorry, like that, sorry, OK? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, deal. 10 more minutes. Still. 
not yet. <laughs> My body's starting to shake. Are you signed up for it? Three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. I did it. I did yeah, it. you did it. <laughs> Good job. This doesn't look like a tattoo that Scott would do. It's ugly. It feels good to know that I'm the first person to knock Scott Marshall off his throne. Today, you had to show your mastery of proportion by tattooing a Japanese snake on your canvas's ribs. Scott. All right, Scott, very, very surprised to see this tattoo come out of you. When you look at this thing from across the room, compared to the other tattoos, this is the one that's hard to tell what the going on. I don't like the layout. I don't like the way it sits on her body. The way you decided to make this background swoop, echo the shape of that snake, makes it hard to tell what's going on. And as far as hitting Japanese, you totally lost it. I did get a little new school with it. But when I'm freehand drawing, I can't help it. My style's going to come out in my drawing. One of the things about Japanese tattooing is it's not necessarily always about you. It's part of a larger history, a larger culture. So walking in and being like, I'm doing it my way, it's insulting, it's utterly incorrect. She was a tough kid. Canvas, man. Her being a tough canvas aside, your drawing's your drawing. If she's a tough canvas, it's gonna show even more in your application, which it doesn't. It's just odd. It's an odd drawing, man. I'm not making excuses. You know, I'm gonna stand behind this piece. It's definitely my least favorite today. And it's applied meticulously, which makes it tough, man. It's a crazy thing, this competition. Halo, Scott, Melissa. One of you is about to lose your place in the top four. Scott, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I did what I could, man. I had to compromise a lot of design with her, basically just how she sat and everything. You have a very unique style that's your own that you incorporate into everything. This tattoo, you abandon that. You just kind of got lost in your own design. It has its problems. This would be like my first hiccup. Take that into consideration before you make your decision. Aesthetically, it's definitely the bottom. Today, you must prove your mastery of technical application by tattooing the sternum. Oh my God. This painful and sensitive area of the body makes it an extremely difficult place to tattoo. Your application must be perfect. The skin on the sternum is super thin, and it's really easy to create blowouts or cause trauma. And for the canvas, it sucks pain-wise. Let's meet your canvases. I want a black and gray realistic dragon with wind gusts. Wind gusts. Can I check out your sternum? You come here on sternum day and you want a full chest piece of a dragon? That's way too much tattoo work for one day here. What if he asked for a dragon? Deanna? Hey. Ugh. You can't finish that in six hours. Do you want to kind of tell me, like, um, everything you're thinking? Something more on the realistic side, mm -hmm. but I'm very stuck on the, on uh, the dragon. Yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm not going to do a realistic dragon. That's a rad idea. Mm. Uh, the only problem is, is that this isn't the place you come to to get full chest pieces. Okay. Think of something that you can build off. All right, maybe like a three-quarter dragon coming up, but I'd really like it to, to spread out as far as you can. Give me a break. Just one break. What do you got left behind these horns? At least get it blocked in because it's going to be solid black tips. I could not talk my canvas out of doing a realistic dragon, so I talked him into doing a realistic dragon skull. Make sure because you got this little hook. You don't have it on that side. This tattoo is really not my style. I'm making this up as I go along. Some of these aren't quite all the way to the edge. Yeah, just run around like your edges and just, yeah, you see how right there in the corners? There's a lot of pressure on me, especially being the only girl left in this competition. I want to prove that I'm strong enough to get through this. Today, you had to perfectly apply a sternum tattoo. Deanna. This is a tough, dark, evil tattoo. The dark shading is very cool, and you do get a lot of nice textures in there. But there needs to be a little bit more highlight areas in some parts of the skull, because it just gets so dark that you lose what shapes are going on there. Look at the skull and how gnarled and how textured and how great you do there. And then you get to the horns, and it's just two flat silhouettes. Make them interesting. If you're going to be able to have this much freedom and be this loose, you got to follow all the way through. Coaches are here to help you succeed. They've proven themselves as masters. Now you must step up your game and tattoo in their specialty. 
black and gray. Got this, got this. I'm pretty excited because that's my specialty. A black and gray tattoo is different shades of blacks that turn into grays and show a smooth transition to create a three-dimensional effect on the tattoo. Don't let it get in your head. You special have a black and gray? Jack of all trades. Don't make a mud puddle. If I have to sit there and look at it three times to figure out where the hand is because the hand's the same color as the background, that's a fail. Just do things that are clear, that are obvious. Give yourselves a fighting chance against the best in the room if you're not. This is your final hour, everybody. Final hour. You're gonna come with that stem and leave it negative? Yeah, I was thinking about it, still debating about it. My canvas wanted the lady face clock in a rose, so I decided to put it all into one image. You might find at some point you're gonna have to prioritize a little differently. I'm super behind right now, and I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to finish. You got any kids? No. Nope. I have a two-year-old daughter. What's her name? Madison. Oh, cute. I didn't leave my daughter to do an unfinished tattoo. I can't f this up. Four, three, two, one. That is it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. We're finally done. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm concerned about Fallen, his design. I thought technically how he applied it was really pretty, yeah. but he didn't finish it. Today you had to demonstrate flawless shading by creating a black and gray tattoo. Fun. You definitely show that you have the most skill so far with your shader. This is what the shading should look like. Your rich black transitions in the eye and just below the eyebrow, it looks beautiful. The unfinished leaves are a bummer. If you start it, you gotta finish it. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. It's font. It's way better shaded than almost everybody. I would say 40% of the tattoo is not even done. 40% is an exaggeration. No, it's not, because you would probably shade behind the leaves, too, so you have to imagine that whole side. I'm going to go wild and vote for font. As the canvas, I'm bummed if it's not finished. My vote's for Danny. I also go completely wild and vote for fun. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations, Fawn. The judges have decided you, in spite of having an unfinished tattoo, have best tattoo of the day. Thank you. Today, you must tattoo a peacock. Oh. With so many colors and textures to capture, precision is essential, or your peacock will go from bold to blur. Peacocks are so challenging. There's thousands of feathers, a million little lines, multiple layers of texture. You can easily screw up. I'm gonna start looking up some reference really quick, okay. and we're gonna get an idea of what you like um, color-wise, style-wise, okay. design-wise. Colors that I want, I want to kind of be like, like a phoenix colors, like oranges and like burnt, you know, burnt oranges and reds and purples and stuff like that. I am a black and gray artist. Precision in color is not one of my strong points. We don't want it to look too close to a phoenix. But I do want the colors, the oranges and the reds and You purples. want like burnt colors? Yes, yes. Got it. So you want it starting on the top of your ribs and kind of going down your hip and then a little bit fanning onto the butt. Onto the butt, like the tail going onto the butt and right, then to so the front kinda, of the thigh. So in the time frame that we have, if we start higher up on your ribs, mm -hmm. you're only gonna get down to here. The only thing I really care about is the location and the size and then like the color scheme as well as the realism of the head. What she's asking for is legitimately like a 30 hour tattoo. I wanted it to kind of go like here and the head go down the body to about here and then the tail go like that. I'm screwed. So the way it's gonna sit on your body is kinda like this. That sound good? Yep. I have a canvas nightmare. She wants a full-bodied peacock that goes from her ribs down to her knee and unwilling to budge. If I make it through this, I'm gonna make Dave eat that skull pick. Let me know if I just gotta cover my cooch a little. Okay. Oh. I'm definitely gonna run out of time, so I have to shorten it a little bit. There's no time to finish the tail. So I wipe off 50% of my stencil, freehand some on, and start over. Plan B. I'd rather simplify something last minute than try to rush and half-ass. Dave gave the only two rib-to-knee tattoos to the only two girls on the team. I don't know if it's because we're strong players or if it's just because we're girls. You know, it's hard. Just breathe through it. I only have like two or three more back here. Five, four, three, two, one. 
two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Just lay there, OK? OK. Hey. Really dig it. It's not my fault that Gia wasn't able to scale down her tattoo. It's not my fault that Ryan put a lot of detail in hers. What do you think? So pretty. Yay. Oh my gosh, I love it. I gave them difficult canvases because I thought they could handle it. Today, you had to show precision by tattooing a peacock. Team Nunez, you will serve as the jury of peers. Ryan. This tattoo, for me, is a big time bummer. Any area that you zoom in on this tattoo, you find problems. There's areas where your color goes out of the line. There's areas where things just aren't solid and smooth and clean. Today being a precision challenge, this is the worst day for you to do this kind of stuff. You being one of the top dogs on your team to doing this, big decline. Gia. Your canvas wanted a massive tattoo. I had a nightmare from the beginning to the end. <laughs> this thing is rough. It is big, but there's certain areas that in a precision challenge is hurting you so bad. Where did you start? I started with the head. That would be the area with the least amount of mistakes because it's where you started. But there's blue completely outside the lines on the bottom of the chin, on the neck. This entire thing is debatably the worst tattoo of the day. I cannot imagine having this canvas. It's a client. You want to pay your rent, you tattoo that canvas, period. That's how we live. It sucks to get a bad one. I get it but just starting. If there's not that first good pull, that pull was never coming. I know she's on the opposite team, but I have to say, the drawing is more aesthetically pleasing than a lot of other people that did not get reamed as hard. It all evens out in the wash. The one that debatably had the nicest composition had debatably the worst possible technical flaws in it. 